strugglers, do you remember on October 24th, 2017, when Mark Rober uploaded a video called Carnival Scam Science and how to win? Of course you do. You probably watched it. Holy crap. Well, Mark is always trying to use statistical probability and breaking things down to data and science like a nerd. Oh, I'm gonna build a robot to help me win this game. I can't do that, Mark. So yeah, maybe I can't build a robot. Maybe I don't know what this is. But what I can do is be a world-class athlete. I don't think I need to remind you guys of my shocking athletic achievements over the years. You guys have a good memory. Uh, it doesn't need to be said. It's all understood. Uh, we know, we know the things I've done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the local carnival and I'm gonna try to win every single game that they have. I'm gonna clean them out and I'm gonna do it with pure and raw athletic ability. I don't need to build a robot, Mark. I won the Danimal sweepstakes. How hard can it be to win a couple of carnival games? <laughs> so every year in July in Fargo, the Red River Valley Fair comes to town. It's a 10 day event filled with food and rides and music, and it will be my next victim. My plan was simple. I would spend one day at the fair with my family, pretending to just enjoy my time with them, but it's all a ruse. The real reason I'm here is to scout out all of the Midway games. After walking around for a little bit, I deduced that there were around 20 different booths, but some of them were doubles. Like there were a couple of games where you throw a dart at a balloon. There were a couple of games where you shoot a basketball into a hoop. So in general, there were like around a dozen different games to win, which is a lot less intimidating than I thought it was gonna be. I haven't been to the Red River Valley Fair since I was like, a junior high kid. And back then it seemed much bigger than it actually is. It's just like a small traveling carnival. <laughs> so on that day that I was there with my family, I wanted to just soak it all in, you know? Get a lay of the land that I was about to conquer. But Jaden talked me into just playing one game to kind of get a feel for it. So when I came back the next day, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be like totally new. And at that time, almost every booth was still being set up for the day. None of them were really open except for one of them. And it was this freaking thing. I don't know if you've ever come across one of these in your life, but the goal is to shoot out the entire star on the paper uh, with this like BB machine gun. And it's simply not possible. <laughs> Mark Rober actually explained in his video that this game is about as close to impossible as a carnival game can be. The goal is to shoot out this red star completely with this automatic BB gun. Not only are the guns not accurate or precise, you have these barely supported pieces of the star that just move out of the way when the BB comes without building up enough stress to rip the paper. Out of 120 plays, we saw nobody win this game all day. And this one in particular is $10 per try. Holy sh I even asked the guy if I could pay $10 and shoot at the paper and then pay another $10 and shoot at the same paper. And of course he told me, no, you can't do that. That might actually make it possible. And you know, they've got that card hanging up there with the, the star perfectly shot out as if somebody actually did this. The worker points at it and he's like, yeah, a little kid. This is from a little kid yesterday. This star that's perfectly shot out. Yeah, like a seven year old did that. No, they didn't. I see right through your lies. You snake. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't even close. If you want to simulate the experience of playing this game on your own at home, you can just take a $10 bill and go ahead and just throw that one right in the garbage can. Yay! So with day one already a colossal failure and me mentally deciding I'm not actually going to try to win that game because I can't. I was a little demoralized, I have to admit. I set out on a mission to beat every carnival game, and the first one I tried, I gave up on. <laughs> if he would have let me shoot the same card more than once, you know? Give a guy a break. But the mission is still on, there's many more games. I came back the next day. I'm here to win. Three balls for five minutes, make two, I give you a basketball, three, anything in the room. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh jeez, bad start. Oh no! I'm just gonna warm up. You know I got a good feeling about this next time though. I'll do. I'll try. I'll try again. Kobe. Oh my goodness, man. Are there little kids that are usually better than this? Most of them win. Oh come on, most of them. Oh, one more. Oh my goodness! <laughs> now, do you strategically place this right above me so I so I can't? 
This one's good. This one's good. Here we go. Oh, we gave ourselves a good chance here. Oh, I feel good about that. I feel good. The grand prize. Oh, that was nice. It only took me three tries. What do you think? What should I get? I'll do the green alien. It's like the space aliens thing. Winner, winner. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Oh, we're off to a start. I don't know if it's a good start, but we're off to a start. The water gun game was a little bit tricky because you're not actually allowed to play that by yourself. It's meant to be a competitive thing. So I recruited camera guy Greg to participate. Are you ready? Ready. Guys. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I can't lose. I literally can't lose. It's too easy, bro. Let's go. You know what you got You know already did. Oh, I love the penguin. All Love right. the penguin. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Look at this. That's better. We're off to a better start now. We're going. Uh, we're going orange. Winner. Feel good. Wow. Feels Are real good. This little guy. So who do we have for Winner. That you now have to be every card we That's that's the goal today. I already spent way too much money on the first one I played, so I'm not off to a good start. So I'm taking what I can get at this point. At this point, you should. Yeah. You gotta break two. You break two, you get large. Oh, this is gonna be impossible. How often do people win? Is this I one of the harder the ones? See all that glass? This I side, see all that I glass. I thought maybe you just sprinkled that over there to make no, it seem no, like people no. won. Everybody's like, you drink some of them? I don't drink them, so I look like I can go. Here we go. Two of them. I hit it even. All right, you know, all right. Oh! Yeah, I know, I know. I know she does. Oh, jeez. So now I gotta say, these are a little softer than a baseball I'm used to. Oh, that one felt good, too. Oh, my goodness. Oh. We might have to come back to this one. Now I will say the baseball toss is definitely winnable. And it's one of the most purely skill-based games that the carnival even has. That being said, I do not have that skill. The margin for error is so tiny. The target is about the size of, I don't know, an iPhone 4, and you have to hit it dead on for it to even break with these squishy little fake baseballs, okay? And on top of that, you need to break two bottles in order to win, and you only get three throws. Do you think I'm Randy Johnson? Who do you think I am, Pablo Sanchez? So I decided I would step away from the baseball throw for now, but come back to it later. I wasn't giving up on it yet. Unfortunately, the next game was the basketball game. And I know that these hoops are like squishy little ovals. They're not a perfect circle. They're way higher than an actual hoop. They're super far away. I mean, my, my muscle memory is not gonna kick in for making a basket here. But again, the game is possible, so we persisted on. Oh, that was not a good start. Oh my God, it felt so good too. It felt so good. Oh, come on, go. Oh, oh, please. There it is. Oh my God, it's too easy. There it is. Oh, are you serious? You're over there laughing. He's like, I'm trying to beat all the games out. He's like, I'm back. I will be back. Moment of truth. Here we go. Oh my god. It's humiliating is what it is. You have your phone on you, sir. I do, yeah, yeah, why? Call the police, you've been robbed. Oh, stop. Oh, that's not even close. Oh my god, I'm doing the same thing every single time. Take a half step, man. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. There it is. Oh my goodness. There it is. Oh my god. Either one of these two. Oh. Was that mine? Come on, there it is. I'm getting fleeced right now. I'm getting absolutely fleeced right now. Please, no, Christian, man, you're killing me. Try again, boss. Yeah, I do, I do. This is the one. Ha. There it is, oh. Yeah, a little, he, Greg's doing this behind the camera. Oh my, it was in. It was in and it came out. Stop making faces back there. Everyone's watching like this is so embarrassing. How many, how much money am I gonna lose? Here we go. There it is.
I'll see you later. What is happening? Well, that was not good. How much did I just spend? Were you keeping track? Let's do something easy so I can get my morale back up. Where's one that I can win no matter what I do? Good luck. Oh, thanks. Just aim it. You know, oh, it's that, it's that easy? <laughs> we'll go for that guy right there. There you go, yeah. Close. That's the trick. Just do it. No, that's the trick. There's too many. It's... Oh, yeah, just pick one and go just for it. Pick one. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, all right, yeah, you're right, you're right. Look at that. Oh. And bingo. Wow, I want to show you. Yeah, show me. Look at how hard, see how hard it is? It is, yeah, see how it hard is hard. it is? It is hard. I know the secret now, okay. and I'm going to beat it this time. Right. I, I promise you. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I thought this was easy. There he is. What was that? Okay, okay, thank you. Here we go. Go for it. Oh, my God. One credit left. I need more. That's my ticket guy right there. Oh, I'll give you... Ten ring for ten. Come on. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Come on, baby. I'm getting absolutely fucked right now. Here we go. Oh, imagine I got it on my first throw that time. Paid for ten. Here we go. Yep. It only took me two. Good morning. You get that one. The Bob Ross. Yeah. All right. Two more. Let's go. Come on, Ducky. Oh. Yeah. And that's the guy right there. Yep. Frank, man, who built these duckies? Yep. This is it. This is the final two for the Bob Ross. Yep. Oh my, just embarrassing is what it is. I'll take what I can get. All right, let's do, uh, I'll do the Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh. Winner, winner, winner. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Winner, Winnie, you know. Woof. This guy. I can't, I can't do that. I cannot do it. It's impossible. I can't do it. Who did this? Who did this? Yeah. Who is this? Clint Eastwood? I can't do it. Milk jugs? I guess we'll try the milk jugs. All right, you get one throw for five credits or three throws for ten. Well, I have to do three. You know what to do, right? Just knock them over, right? Piece of cake, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What if I just miss the whole thing? That'd be embarrassing, huh? Oh my god! Like that part? <laughs> yeah, like that. that. Did I explain that you have to, you gotta hit the bottle? I gotta knock all four of them yeah, over. Yeah, 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 yeah. I missed yeah, that part. Yeah. See, that was your fault because you didn't explain yeah. it. I was trying to hit that one down there. Yeah, That's see, my problem. I forgot, I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do these ones instead. Oh my god. That was a little high. Yeah, a little. That's it's right a in the middle. high. It's somewhere like, in the middle. Here we go. This is the one. Are you? If I would have done that on the first try, I bet I would have got him off. Frog had wings. It went bump its ass every time it hit him. This yeah. f***ing guy. Five, ten, and twenty. That's all I can do. Can I? Can I do? You uh, can do five, five for two. I, yeah, I can. Give okay, you two. I appreciate that. I'm feeling good now. You know, you're I'm feeling, loosened up. You're feeling good about it. He's feeling good about it. He knows. He knows. He's feeling good about it. See, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. That's a good start. Have you ever done it? A couple of times. A couple of times. Yeah, but I, I'm 52 years old. I'm not trying to throw my arm out. Throw your arm out. I feel you. All right. Here goes nothing. Piece of cake. Okay. <sighs> what is this? One more. One more? Okay. I thank you. I appreciate that. Oh my. Oh my God. Well, at least you know they're not magnetized down. You know what? I, yeah, that's true. I tried my best. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Well, thanks. And <laughs> you if too. If it does happen, Happy New Year. Oh, okay, so it is possible. He's just, it is possible, and we're gonna make it happen. I have, you have play for one shot, okay? That's pretty high risk, man, pretty high risk. Okay, buddy, you can do it. Oh, I'm sure I can. Oh, baby, oh, baby, ah. What the heck was that? We're going for three shots. I think it's gonna be $10, which is insane, but we're gonna do it. I just got like tickets hanging out of my pockets like a freaking addict. <laughs> just one more, man, just one more. Oh, what is he doing? What's he doing differently than me? He knows I'm not gonna win. He's not even paying attention to me. He knows I'm not gonna get it. Oh my God, it's impossible. It's literally impossible. Yeah. What the hell was that? Why is he laughing? Camera Greg is laughing back here. What the hell, buddy? I know, I don't. Can you show me one more time how you did it? Okay. Okay. Up top, boom, up high, up high. Now how in the hell, what are you, what is she doing different? 
What's the science? I should have looked this up before I came. I think he's getting a lot farther than you. Are. He's like basically he's touching it. Really far. All right, I'm gonna lean way far. I'm gonna be egregious with it. They're gonna kick me out of this carnival for how close I'm leaning. They call me the carnival kid. That's what they call me. So. He just rings me up for the most he can get from me every time. He doesn't even ask. Oh, we got one, boys. That's a win. Ah. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Ah. Well, I gotta take the Bob Ross, are you kidding me? His little toesies. <laughs> Happy little trees, baby. Happy little trees. Thank you, sir. He hates me. He hates me so much. I want to step in and ask a question. Why did I not win one of the jerseys on the wall? I made all three balls into the basket. What more could I have done? There was like a Tom Brady jersey hanging on the wall. Why did I not win that? What, what do I have to do to win that? This is thievery. How dare you? Bob Ross is fine, I guess. <laughs> it only cost me like $40, no big deal. I had originally thought I didn't want to play the same type of game more than once, and I had already won a dart balloon thing, but I just felt like I needed another win after whiffing it <laughs> on a couple of games. So I stepped up and absolutely crushed it. Which one do I aim for? Let's go, uh, look we'll at that big purple one. Yeah, it wasn't the one I was aiming for, but it works. Oh yeah, I'll take the, I'll switch for the white one. Thank you so much. Now that's beautiful. That's, that's art right there, baby. I feel like I'm doing pretty well. I feel, I'm, well, okay. I'm not doing well at all. I've spent dollars and I've come away with like five different prizes and we're halfway done. So there's still half of a midway to go, but that's okay. We'll just keep cooking and we'll, we'll win the, uh, we'll run the rest of these prizes. We're gonna run this place dry. <laughs> we're gonna win every prize in the dang park. Hello. Do I just pick one? What, how, do, how does this one work? Okay, five credits, pick up three ducks, put anything on the bottom. This one is just a straight up slot machine gambling. Okay, well, here we go. Which one feels good? You got any insight? Which one should no, I say? <laughs> hey, this one looks good, huh? How do I know? That's a winner. It is? Okay, as as well. You don't have any great eggs on the bottom, oh. fine. Well, this one feels good, huh? Right, Look at it. <laughs> We're on a roll, sir. Oh, this one feels good too, huh? I'm on a roll. Are you serious? Oh man, I feel like a. Uh, let's go grab that little doll. A sword? Do I do a sword? Oh, that's too good. I literally went three for three. Am I the goat? Am I the best ever at this game? I think I might be. What's up? Get one in. Do it right here. Get two in. Get all three in. Do it right there. All three in one spot. I got a little pass on for him too. Oh my kid's little brother. Yeah. Woo, boy, back to college, huh? Oh my goodness. Oh, what? oh, was there a trampoline in oh, there? In there. <laughs> oh, come on. There's water holding it down. That's but... fair. Okay, I got you. Come on, baby. Oh, woof. Okay, you know, I got to do it one more time. I can win this one. I can win this. Come on, I can win this. So it was last, does last time count? I was wondering why that did that. If I make one, I get a prize on the two because of that. If I make one, I'll take an avocado. How about that? Oh, an avocado? Okay. One for an avocado. Hey, Posty. Posty would be proud. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh. Thank you so much, man. We're racking them up. We're racking them up. Do a little bit of a little bit of bartering, you know? Still getting swindled. Do that one time. You can have any teddy bear you like. Are you famous or something? Is that what it is? Nah, I just pre I pretend to be. What is that shit? Uh, the the four for ten, I think you said. You can be country all day, but you can't be a redneck. You want to know why? To be a redneck, you have to be east of the Mississippi River, south of the base of Dixon Line. You boys, remember that war? Is this real? Is he being geographically and historically accurate? How do? What the hell am I supposed to do? <laughs> What's the? What do I do? What are the rules? Then you start pushing it. That girl wins. She likes. She likes. She likes Cabana boys. Ah. Fucking hell. I don't trust this. Yes, you can. Steady hands. Come on, stand up. Oh, bruh. Focus. Focus. Slow. Oh my god. What 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 happened on that one? Oh my gosh. TP, baby. Trailer park. Hey, Tyler Peterson, number one TPO, my favorite race oh, yeah, car does. driver. He's doing some weird TikTok thing. He's like got like a million uh, followers. Not true. None of that His is true. Dilla Gift. 
None of this is true. He's lying for no reason. Are oh, you come on, man? It's impossible. Referencing Mark Rober's video again, in it he said, If you want the feeling of winning a game, do not stop at any booth that offers really big prizes. This booth had exclusively really big prizes. No little ones in sight. Um, and come to think of it, actually, I never saw a single person either day that I was there carrying around a big prize. So I don't think people are really winning this one, which is interesting because it's doable. The guy showed me him doing it many times. So I don't know, in hindsight, I do wish that I had tried a few more times on this one, but Mark's voice was just echoing in my head like, you're not gonna win this one, Scott. I quit while I'm ahead. What's that? Here, I'll show you again. I know I did. I know I did, you're right. Just pick any of them up. All right, let's see, huh? Which one looks the most like Mr. Olympic? We'll do this blue one right here. It's a heavy boy. What's this mean? Can I get one of the donuts? <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. The pink sprinkle one. Can I get that one? Man, that's that's my kind of game. That's what I like. <laughs> you picked up a fish. I picked up the fish, baby. Mr. Limpet. I got the pink sprinkle donut too. Feeling pretty good about that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, now we just gotta win the basketball thing, which was basically impossible, but we're gonna do it. I'm feeling pretty good now. I got my donut, let's do it. There was one of those games where you toss a ping pong ball into a little fish bowl and then you win a goldfish. I didn't, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't want to win a goldfish. I don't want to walk around with a goldfish. I don't, why are they giving out goldfish still? Look at these poor fish. What is this water? So we're back. The sun has gone down a little bit. You know, the sun was in my eyes last time, so. Okay, just getting warmed up. Oh, just getting warmed up still. What's this for? YouTube. Oh, really? Greg is talking to a guy right now. Oh, come on, son of a gun. If you look up, just his channel, you'll be able to find it. Greg is so busy, he's talking to a worker. Come on, there it is. Unreal. Man. Yeah. Two more? Man, you're the, you're the best, man. You are the best. We got a lot of followers. Yeah. Oh man, it felt so good too. That one felt good. His name is Scott, and then Kramer's his last name. There it is. Oh, how many tries did it take that guy? That's embarrassing. It was about at this time when that worker that was talking to Greg finally made it to my YouTube channel, and this was the first thing that he saw. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you exposed, you son of a bitch? <laughs> you can't expose my mother <laughs> game, son. Yeah, so that's him. Oh, that's awesome. I feel good, you know, I feel close. <laughs> I bet everybody oh, feels close. Shot. That's oh, sure. thanks. So if you just keep an eye on that, you'll see it eventually. Yeah, man. I got oh, My motivation is dwindling. Sheesh. Oh, my God. Should I go underhand? Like uh, that Will Ferrell movie? Fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. Oh. <laughs> there it is. I, whatever's left. Do you have any more left? I know oh, yeah. you do. Want me to do your 15 for 20? Count to 15. 15. Oh, man. Ah, it's short. There it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, yep. What's that? Don't give up your day job, that brick later. Hey, there it is. No. Oh. Come on. No. Oh. There it is. Oh, are you guys making fun of me back here? Oh. Oh, man, that's off. Ah. I am the greatest basketball player on earth. Let's do uh, the Scooby-Doo guys. Where? Yeah, that's right. There goes one. Don't tell them how many times it took me to win. We freaking did it. Hey, I appreciate you, man. Have a good night. It is what it is, you know, we got fleeced, but I'm still a winner. That's all that matters, I'm still a winner. All right, let's rock. So I had made my rounds, I did all of the games, I beat all of the ones that I thought were possible to beat. I actually had planned on going back to that bottle one, but somehow just 
forgot to do it. I, I have no idea how I did that. And I still had some credits left over. I'll talk about how the credits work, but you get these little bands and they you put money on them and that's how you play the games. So we still had some credits left over and I let Greg burn the rest of them trying to win the baseball toss. That had some heat though. It's so tough to aim, I'm just yeah. throwing. Ooh. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Let's give her help. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Yeah, stretch it out. So let's get into the money. How much did I end up spending? Um, it was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot of money. If this wasn't literally my job, I there's no absolutely no universe where I would have attempted this. It's so fiscally irresponsible to even play the carnival games in the first place, but to try to win all of them, Bad idea. So like I said, the fair makes you purchase these little wristbands instead of just handing the workers cash when you wanna play a game, like the entirety of human history. So now you have this fake digital money and digital money's not even real. They're credits, it's not money. We can do whatever we want, it's unlimited. No guilt involved when you're not seeing the money that's disappearing from your wallet. The thing that really peeved me off about these freaking things is that there's a $2 convenience fee every time that you put money on it. Oh, that's real convenient. Yeah, real convenient. This is Live Nation and Ticketmaster levels of bullshit. So now instead of spending $10 on, say, the BB gun game, you have to spend $12 just to play. <laughs> We're having so much fun! Okay, here's the daily breakdown. On day one, I only spent the $10. Gate admission was free if you go from, I think it was 11 to 1, you got in for free. So $10 day one, not so bad. I only played one game, but you know, not a big deal. Day two, however, Day two was much different. So to get in, it costs $15 each. I paid for Greg as well. So $30 down just to walk in the door. Then I spent $300 on games. $300. And I'm sure the collective value of the prizes that I won is somewhere around I don't know, $9? So that's a pretty solid return. <laughs> At first I was thinking like, yeah, this was a pretty successful day. And then I started thinking Jaden's gonna be sick to her stomach when she finds out how much money I spent to win like a Bob Ross plushie and a couple of tiny little pillows. But buy, buy the merch, please. <laughs> this was rough for the ego and for the wallet. So I'd appreciate it if you guys check out the merch. Uh, I probably will not be back, but it was fun while it lasted. All right, good night guys. I feel so empty. I gotta be upfront with y'all. I really don't like the fair. I hate it with a burning passion, actually. It's too hot, it stinks like grease and farm animals for some reason. Tens of thousands of people a year, where are you coming from? You crawling out of your hole for the chance to breathe in secondhand cigarette smoke and eat $22 worth of cheese curds? And yeah, I bought a $22 bucket of cheese curds. Okay, sue me. But you know what? Now that I've gone and I've interacted with all the kind folks there and I breathed in the exhaust from the sketchy machinery, I can confidently say that I still don't like it there. <laughs> I'm probably never gonna go back. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Extra thank you to my patrons. Those listed here are in the top tier on there. You guys, it, do you want some plushies? Some stuffed animals? I don't need them. I hope you enjoyed the video even though I failed the mission. And the fair is already, they've picked up and they've left town. So I can't even go back. All right, that's all I got. I will talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.